26. Are you single? Yes. At 26, how much would you say you make annually? Probably like 46, 40, like 40, 46 maybe. 40K, yeah. 46. Yeah. You feel like as a man, that's enough for most of the women that you're running today to day? You know, <laughs> you know, can I tell the truth? I Probably not, you know. What I'm chasing uh, is not monetary. See, and that's the problem. The women that you see in your reality are not the same women that every man sees in his reality. You feel me? Now, it's not about all the time because it's more women than men. Let me get you to understand that. The women that you looking at are westernized. You feel what I'm saying? So you have to start coming with a different perspective or a different mindset in order to attract the woman that you like. You feel me? The very first thing that came out your mouth when he said, why you feel like that? You said, because you chasing. That's the that's wrong right there. Stop chasing, bro. Stop chasing these women and giving them more value and putting them on a pedestal and, 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 and you know, basically worshiping these women more than you should. You got to stop looking at the woman as the prize and start, you know, looking at yourself as the prize. Because ultimately, you determine if that woman gets married. You ultimately determine if this woman has children. You feel what I'm saying? You ultimately determine all of these things, bro. So for you to be chasing is something that's, you know, making you backtrack. It's putting you in a position to where now you can't attract. You feel what I'm saying? And if you can't attract, what happens, bro? What happens? If you can't add, you automatically add a minus. So you might, because of the mindset that you have, but let's continue the video. Uh, and I'm chasing a real dream and I feel like you can't you can't put a number on that, you know And if she can't understand that then I I don't know what to say. So why do you think it's not enough for the modern woman? It's not enough because she's a modern woman and not a wife Understand that I think we get I think we get confused in socials I think we get confused on the internet of, of what the real goal should be um, Obviously, I'm saying everybody believes that they're supposed to be making hundred K no, that's not what's going on. See, that's what I'm saying. The mindset, bro. It's not the fact. You're talking about you. We get confused with socials and think that we should be making 100K. That's not the case. You get confused with socials and believe that these people are living a life that they actually not. They live in a lie. If you Google it, most people in America are broke. So the odds of you seeing, you know, a, a, actually, a, a person that's actually wealthy are slim to none you feel what i'm saying we're gonna put this push the celebrities to the side even if you add the celebrities to the equation right let's say you add the celebrities most of these people are in contracts that they owe back so they don't they don't really have any money bro they pretending that they have but they faking it until they make it quote unquote you feel what I'm saying? And y'all get it confused as to thinking like, oh, these people actually have, they don't have any money. A lot of them. Most of these artists don't have any money. They have other people writing their music. They have other people singing in the background. They have other people making the beats. So you can actually, you pretty much only getting paid for what you're doing. They're not really doing anything. You feel what I'm saying? They're just the face of the song or the brand. You feel me? And that's where y'all get it confused. Y'all think the brand is the person that's making the money. No, the brand is owned by the label. You feel me? And the rest of the society that you're looking at on the internet is broke. You feel what I'm saying? They broke, bro. They written, you know what I'm saying? They don't own anything. They leasing everything. They can't build. They can't cook. They can't do anything. So y'all getting it confused thinking these people actually have money, but they living on the means or they living on, on the label's money or they looking to, to present a life that they actually cannot afford, bro. They be in Airbnbs, hotels, renting cars, bro, and y'all think it be theirs, bro. That's why they got a new car every other month. Pay attention, dog. That's why the car never leaves the lot or the spot. You know what I'm saying? That's not their home. They just be recording that mob and renting it out for the weekend. And they show you the cars that the owner has. Pay attention. But everybody can't do the same job. Do you think that the amount of money you make as a man determines what kind of woman you're able to get? No, it does not. It's the resources. Y'all be thinking it's the money, but it's the resources. You know what I'm saying? If money did not exist and you were still able to get, you know, a Bentley, 
you know, a $500,000 home, all these materials that you want, do you think money would actually be valuable? No, it would not. You know what I'm saying? If you had to choose between money and resources, if you choose money, you will goofy. You feel what I'm saying? Because what are you gonna do with the money except buy resources? It just makes no sense. So it's not about the money, it's about the resources, the things you're able to acquire. You feel what I'm saying? If you are able to build your own home, if you are able to make these designer clothes, if you are able to make your own cars, you know, and it'd be nice, do you think she would actually care about the money? No, she would not. No, he would not. Because you have access to the resources. It, it, it shouldn't, it shouldn't determine. But I mean, if, if I don't make 100K and she makes 100K, great. As a man, I should always aspire to do more. Like I said, there's a garbage man that deserves to be happy. There's a guy that works at McDonald's and has two kids that deserves to be happy. Uh, and there's a, there's a guy like me that's 26 still trying to make it happen. You know what I'm saying? That deserves to be happy. And I think there's a woman out there for everybody. As long as you're comfortable and have enough, you know what I'm saying, to be happy, I think you should be okay. You got to understand everybody's definition of happy isn't yours. So you have to be content with who you are and be, you know, um, accepting or acceptive of who you are in order to be happy. These material things that they buy or they looking for is just to distract them for, from who they actually are. So they don't wanna look in the mirror, fam. They would rather look at a Birkin bag or the latest iPhone or the newest Jordans to make them feel happy, to distract them from actually taking accountability and looking at themselves in the mirror. You feel what I'm saying? It don't matter what you buy them or what you show them, they're not going to be happy because they're unhappy with themselves. They disgusted with they self. And so the outcome of that is you feeling insecure about yourself, even if you made a hundred K. You gotta pay attention to what these people uh, uh, value as important on God because it's not enough.